Hi everyone, and welcome to a video on how to use a Logo Sting animation kit from Envato. In this lesson, we'll learn how to use this elegant flame logo kit in Adobe After Effects. This doesn't require any external plugins and can be used for all sorts of projects. So first, we'll need a few assets to work on our project. We'll get these ready-made effects from the website elements.envato.com. Make sure you've created an account, and if you haven't already, just go ahead and click on the free account button on the top right of the website here. Once you've done that, you'll have access to purchase all the assets on the website. At the top here, by search, let's go ahead and select the stock video from the menu here. And then we're going to type in sci-fi metal background, like so, and then click on the search button. Once you've done that, just scroll down through all of these options here, and we're just going to go ahead and download this one, this sci-fi metal background by Ice Tray. Go ahead and click on the download button, as this will be the one that we'll be using for this tutorial. And then next, we want to go ahead and find a logo. Now, Envato Elements also has a wide range of ready-made logos for you to use. So at the top here, let's go ahead and select Graphic Templates. And then we want to type in here, Eagle Falcon Flying Bird Metal Design, and then click on the search button. And then you'll find the logo that we'll be using in the tutorial here. However, if you're confident, feel free to use your own logos and your own stock videos to follow along with this tutorial. Now for the After Effects template kit. So at the top here, go ahead and select video templates. And then we want to type in elegant flame logo. Click OK. And then you'll find on the results page the video templates that we want to use. So go ahead and click on the download button and then we'll head over to After Effects where we'll learn how to use it. Once we've opened the project, you'll see that we've been greeted by two opened comps ready for us to view. The first one is Render HD 1920 by 1080. And then the second one over here, which is at a higher resolution if you want to use that. So let's go ahead and close the high resolution one. So we're concentrating on the 1920 by 1080. And also you'll find at the top here on the projects panel, if we go over to the render folder, we've also got an even lower resolution 1280 by 720 if you want to use that. First, let's go ahead and preview the project by clicking on the preview button here. Now, because this project has been created in a very high resolution, we can make previewing the video a little bit easier on our hardware by clicking on the drop down menu here. And then let's go ahead and select quarter. And this lets us lower the resolution in our preview panel so that we can better preview our video. So just click on the preview button here. Excellent. Now that we know how to preview our video, let's go ahead and learn how to change the logo here so that we can use our own logo and also customize the text. Looking at the project panel again, you'll notice that there's a folder here called edit logo text here. Open this up and we want to use the edit logo composition. So double click on that. And here is where you'll be editing your logo. You'll notice that the Envato logo doesn't have the shiny silver finish that you saw in the preview vid. Now this is because the render comp will convert the texture of any logo that you place in here which means it doesn't really matter what color you use as it will always turn out shiny and silver in the final video. So first, let's go ahead and hide our Envato 
logo by clicking on the eye icon here. We can go ahead and delete this layer as well as we won't really be using it. Uh, now also to replace the logo with just text, simply unhide the your text layer here and you'll see now we've got some text that we can use for our logo. Now, if we go ahead and use the horizontal type tool here, we can, we can click on the text and just use our own text. So let's go ahead and change this to your logo, like so. Once you've done that, you can then preview how it looks by switching back to the render comp, like so. And you'll see now how your logo has been replaced by your text. You'll also notice that it has the shiny silver finish in the final video, which also reacts to the lights and the fire, like so. Now let's go ahead and replace the text with an image. So let's go back to the edit logo comp. And now let's go ahead and hide this text layer, like so. And we can import your logo image simply by clicking and dragging the image file into the project panel, like so. And you'll see now that we've got our logo inside our project panel. Let's go ahead and drag it into our edit logo text folder. So we've got everything all in one place. And now we can go ahead and also drag it into our edit logo composition, like so and you'll see straight away that it'll appear in our preview panel. From here, we can go ahead and make some small edits to our logo by opening up the layer and the transform options. And now you'll see that we can go ahead and change things like the position of our logo, like so, and also the scale of our logo. So let's go ahead and scale it down a little bit and and then maybe move it up a little bit like so. Now as a finishing touch, let's go ahead and add a new video background to our project. So again, the same thing as how we imported our logo, simply click and drag and drop your movie file into the project panel like so. And from here, to add our video, we need to go ahead and double click on the main layer here. So we can open up that comp and then go ahead and double click on the pre final main like so. And then from here, we want to scroll all the way down all of these layers until you reach gradient background. And we want to click and drag our movie file above the gradient background like so. And now you'll see that the stock footage immediately appears behind our logo. Let's go ahead and close all of these. Go back to our render HD comp like so. And let's go ahead and preview this. So let's click on the preview button. Excellent. So there you have it how to use the Elegant Flame Logo Kit without any plugins to create your logo sting animation. Have fun creating your own animations, and I'll see you next time on Tut Plus.